Hey guys, today we're going to be building an oil catch can. Stay tuned. So I'm starting out by setting up the bottom plate for the catch can. It's a three inch uh, cap plate with a hole in the middle. I'm about to hole saw it out some more. That way I can fit my uh, bung in there nicely so I can weld it. So here we go. So now that I have the main pipe cleaned and the bottom part of the catch can cleaned and a hole drilled in it, now I'm going to tack the bottom plate onto the catch can cylinder itself. And from there I'll move on to drilling some more holes in the side. And I'll also explain the design of an oil catch can and how it works. So that tube cools, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this top cap here. What I have are a couple of 3 8 hose barb weld bungs and uh, I have my filter here and what I'm going to do is this, this fitting will be the inlet so that's going to get your oily air mass coming in to the catch can up top and this one will get welded on like that and my filter here, or breather, it's more so a breather vent will be stationed right there. So I'm going to drill those out and we'll get going on the rest of it. Last thing I have to do is drill a hole on the side of the tube here for the outlet. Alright, so my next step is I'm going to be welding this bottom plate on. And once that's finished welding, I'm going to weld the first AN fitting on the bottom of the tank. That'll be for the drain, so we can drain, uh, put a peacock on there and drain the oil out once it gets full. Or it's since it's an AN fitting, if he wants to make it a return system so he doesn't have to drain it, he can also do that. And now that the catch can is ready to finish going together, I'm just uh, packing it full of this filtering medium, also known as steel wool. And then here I have what will go inside. It's uh, a trap to trap the steel wool in there, and then the fitting comes down through. And then through here, I'll have the breather hose tube comes out rather and then once all that's on I'll put the uh, cap on and weld it all together but I gotta pack all the steel wool in here pretty tight so stay tuned Alright, so there is the oil catch can all finished up. Um, I made this bracket for it. It's going in that FD Arc 7 that I did the intercooler stuff on. And I don't know if I'm putting it on or not, but for now it's just got this bracket on it. You know, it can be mounted on any surface. Um, I guess he went to get it tuned and I guess he was noticing oil his intake so he wanted a fix here it is so there's been that and some 
hose to connect it all. As I said, if I put it on, I'll make a video of putting it on. But uh, in closing, that is how you make an oil catch can. In closing? What kind of an outro was that? In, in conclusion. conclusion. It didn't sound like you said that. It sounded like you said in closing. I did say in closing. Yeah.